Did you know that the choice of proximal tibia locking plate can significantly influence surgical outcomes? In this video, we delve into the pros and cons of various plates, helping you understand their unique characteristics and how they can impact your surgical approach. Welcome back to Ortho Implants for Life, your one-stop channel to learn about orthopedic implants, their uses, careers, and business opportunities in this industry. Today, we're focusing on proximal tibia locking plates, a critical component in fracture management. Before we start, let me tell you this video is intended for educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical advice. Always consult a qualified healthcare provider for clinical decisions. Navigating the world of proximal tibia locking plates? Consider a patient with a complex tibial fracture. The choice of locking plate can determine the success of the surgery and the patient's recovery. Proximal tibia locking plates are essential in stabilizing such fractures, especially in osteoporotic bones or high-energy trauma cases. Understanding the nuances of each plate type is crucial for optimal outcomes. Commonly used proximal tibia locking plates. A detailed overview. Let's examine some widely used proximal tibia locking plates. LCP. Proximal tibia plate. Available in 3.5 mm and 4.5 mm sizes, these plates feature a limited contact design to preserve blood supply and offer angular stability through locking screws. VALCP. Proximal tibial plate 3.5 system. This system provides variable angle locking options, allowing for flexible screw placement and improved fit, especially beneficial in complex fracture patterns. Less invasive stabilization system LISS. Designed for uh, minimally invasive procedures, LISS plates act as internal fixators, reducing soft tissue disruption and promoting faster recovery. Each of these plates has evolved to address specific challenges in fracture fixation, offering unique features tailored to various clinical scenarios. Comparing the pros and cons, a balanced perspective. When comparing these plates, several factors come into play. Biomechanical stability, Studies indicate that 4.5 mm plates offer greater stability in osteoporotic bones, while 3.5 mm plates are sufficient for less severe fractures. Surgical Technique LISS plates facilitate minimally invasive approaches, reducing operative time and soft tissue damage. However, they may be less versatile in complex fracture patterns. Postoperative recovery, VALCP, irritia plates allow for variable screw angles, accommodating patient-specific anatomy and potentially enhancing recovery. Limitations. While LCP plates are versatile, they may require precise contouring to fit the bone, which can be challenging. LIS plates, though minimally invasive, might not provide adequate fixation in comminuted fractures. Selecting the appropriate plate involves assessing bone quality, fracture complexity, and the surgeon's experience. Choosing the best plate for optimal patient outcomes. In conclusion, understanding the distinct features, benefits, and limitations of each proximal tibia locking plate is essential for informed surgical decisions. By considering patient-specific factors and staying updated on technological advancements, surgeons can enhance patient outcomes and recovery. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our upcoming videos. Join us to excel in this orthopedic implant industry and to know more about the job and career growth which is available in this industry. Thank you. See you again next week.